as research becomes more and more available online, it becomes our responsibility as researchers to think more carefully about the credibility of the sources that we're using. Some of the things that determine credibility are things like what credentials the authors have, how sound their research methods are, and whether or not there's any bias apparent in their work. You've already learned uh, in the Level 1 workshop that the peer review process is one way that the academic community does credibility checks and quality controls amongst its members. There are a few other things that we need to think about though as we start doing more and more research online outside of the library and we're going to explore those now. Generally speaking, when you are doing research and you're finding peer-reviewed academic journal articles in PsycInfo, for the most part you can assume that they're fairly credible. But I'm going to tell you a little bit more about how we determine that, just in case. So, two of the things you're looking for is that the person who wrote it, um, it has a, a credential. Uh, like, let's say, either a PhD or maybe a master's degree in whatever the subject area is. So you know that they've graduated not just with a bachelor's but with a higher level degree. And usually, not always, but usually, they work at a university. So this is the place where, I'm gonna put a dollar sign, where they work, where they conduct their research, and where they get at least some of the money that they make for doing the research. So talking about these things is really important because these are the things that traditionally we use to determine the credibility of a paper and the article or, or the author that wrote it. The other thing is that if you see that a paper has been published by one of these big traditional academic publishers um, or usually some, or, you know, sometimes also by a university publisher, um, you, can, you can see, you can, you can kind of know that they've already done some vetting. You know, they've definitely gone through the peer review process and the article that you're looking at can be considered generally credible. So when you're looking at the article itself, you're kind of wanting to look for signs that it has these criteria. So let's take a look at this one and see what we've got. And it's a little bit small, but I think you'll still be able to get the idea. I mean, a, a standard academic journal article looks like this on its front page. So let's see here. We are going to look for the authors. So here they are. And we want to know what their credentials are. So do they, does it say that they have one of these degrees? Um, or does it say that they work at a university? So underneath each of these people's names, we have a university listed. So this one says University of Portsmouth and University of Tasmania. This one says the University of Portsmouth, and this one says Flinders University. These are all universities in Australia. And if you look down at this section over here, you can see that it talks a little bit more about where each of these authors works. And this is really important because it it kind of shows you that these are people that, if they work at universities, it doesn't say it explicitly, but they probably have one of these degrees. And they're employed there either as teachers or researchers or both. So that's very important for assessing the credibility. There's also this teeny tiny text. Sometimes it'll appear at different places around the paper. And oftentimes what that will do is it will share with us information about the publisher. So in this example, it didn't include any of the ones that I mentioned before, but it includes, uh, it says that it's published by the American Psycholo Psychological Association, which is a, a credible uh, publishing body as well. So taking a look at these key pieces of information when you're looking at a traditionally pub published academic journal article can really help you know whether or not it's credible. Sometimes it's a little bit more tricky to tell when you're looking at open access articles. So let's take a look now at some of the ways that you can assess their credibility when you're looking at them online. 